Hello, um, this is Mr. Fu here. I'm here today to analyze the GCO level paper from 2011 to last year, 2021. Previously, I did an analysis on a spreadsheet to share my perspective on the paper from 2011 to 2020. So today, I will update the presentation with last year 2021 paper and I will also include my opinions or views on the practical paper that begins in 2018. Now, before I prepare this slide, I compiled the list of topics tested from 2011 to 2021. There are about 18 relevant topics tested for the GC O-Level Chemistry paper from experiment design, which is about the measuring instruments, collection of gas and drying of gas till organic chemistry. What I did was I wrote down the number of marks allocated for the topics in both paper one and paper two. And I compute the average percentage, the question of that particular topic appear in these 10 years. I also included a number of times the topic has 8% or more in paper one and 3% or more in paper one. I did the same for paper two, just that I decreased the percentage to 7% and 2% respectively. There is some difference between the paper. For example, later when I analyze, you will notice that some topics that are more heavily tested in paper one are actually not emphasized so much in paper two. I will also discuss the trend of certain topics as I carry on my presentation. Now, for paper one, these are the topics that appeared 8% or more beyond four years. What I did was I calculated the percentage average of that particular topic in paper one, which is the MCQ, and calculated the number of years that topic has 8% or more in the paper. The first is organic chemistry with an average of 20%. And over the past 11 years, it appeared 8% or more. Metals come in second place with 11%. Chemical bonding, third. More calculations and periodic table achieve the same percentage average and the same number of years of 8% or more. I discussed about the trend of topic in recent year, and it was observed that energetics seem to be getting more and more popular in the choice of questions by the settlers. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on energetics. It could be a growing emphasis on energy and fuel. So energetics is a topic that cannot be ignored and should be studied thoroughly because it is likely to appear in this year's paper. The percentage average and number of years seem to be lower than other topics because it was less prominent in the earlier years. The remaining topics are still important, though they are not as significant in terms of percentage compared to the topics mentioned earlier. The first two topics in this page are 
electro chem and acid bases with an average of 5%. Over the past 11 years, it appeared every year with 3% or more. QA and redox are the next significant topics with 4% of average and appear every year in paper one. Followed by air, atomic structure, salts, and KPT. Okay. The less significant topics have much less weightage compared to the other topics, but they cannot be ignored as they still carry some marks. For example, uh, separation technique and experiment design in paper one are not tested as heavily, but they still carry a range of marks from one, two to three at times. Ammonia itself is already a very minor topic, so we don't expect a lot of questions to appear. In some years, ammonia is not even tested at all. Speed of reaction, surprisingly, over the past 11 years, it is one of the four topics that have the least percentage in paper one. Okay, but when you look at paper two later, speed of reaction is more significant. Coming to paper two, these are the topics that appear 7% or more beyond four years. There are similarities between the topics here and the topics in paper one you see organic chemistry at the top of the list again because this particular topic is a very big topic with many concepts covered. So we will expect the largest percentage of questions coming from organic chemistry. More calculation appear a lot in recent years and on average it has 11% and out of the 11 years, six years with 7% or more. It has become more and more significant, especially in last year's paper. Um, it doesn't appear as a question by itself, but it is integrated with other topics. Metals come third with an average 10%. The number of years with 7% or more is 7 years. If you remember, metals is in second place in paper 1. Though it dropped to third place, it is still significantly important. So after organic chemistry, do pay attention to more and metals. Chemical bonding is still in the top six list, just like you saw in paper one. Periodic table, and you see a new topic here, air. Air replaces the position of energetics in paper two. That is because energetics has less questions in earlier years, but the number of questions have increased over the years. Air is a very important topic also because there is a growing emphasis on environmental issues. So do pay attention to air energetics also. We will expect questions from there this year. So be familiar with all the different types of questions that can appear in these first six topics and energetics there seems to be a very high probability that the question this year will be set from here. And of course, we cannot ignore the remaining topics that could be tested for paper two, especially those topics with more than six years with 2% or more, meaning they will definitely be included in the paper. So we have energetics and electrochem at the top of the list. But among the three topics, acid-based, electrochem, and energetics, we will expect electrochem to have the highest probability in paper two. But as I said, energetics is getting more and more prominent. So do not ignore energetics. The energetics concepts like energy profile diagram, energy level diagram, calculation of enthalpy change, the concepts on bond breaking, bond forming, exothermic, endothermic, and examples cannot be ignored. Electrochem will definitely be tested this year, but it will not be of very high percentage. It may take about 6% on average. Acid base, it came out about 10 marks last year. So I will predict it will not be of very high percentage this year. 
it may not appear as a full question, but we never know. Uh, but based on the trend in O-level paper, if you have a database question on a particular topic in one year, the subsequent year, the real right after that, that paper will not have the same topic. Every year, the database question will be changed. So the long question most likely will not be acid based this year. Most likely, because acid based was the database question last year. This year, most likely not. That's what I can say only. We may not know what is the topic. It could be organic chem this year. It could be energetics. It could be electrochem or even speed or air or maybe periodic table or even metals. Okay. Um, any context that is relevant to a topic will be tested and data inference skills will be tested. Okay, speed of reaction is the next important topic with a high number of years with 2% or more. Redox definitely cannot be ignored, but compared to the four topics is slightly less significant, but not less important. Significant in terms of percentage average is lesser and the number of years with 2% or more. Ammonia is a small topic, but it does appear one time with 2% or more. But it means that in some, some years, right, it appear maybe 1%. And some years, there is not even any question on ammonia, as I mentioned earlier, because it's a very minor topic. It can be completely taken out from the exam paper this year. QA, it depends on the year. Normally, if the practical is QA, you will expect slightly less questions from there in the theory paper. So you have to look at the practical paper to predict to forecast whether you have a high number of QA questions. But QA won't be tested heavily. Lah. And then we have atomic structure as well. There'll be some questions on that and it has a significantly high percentage of coming out. Other topics that cannot be ignored but with much less weightage compared to the earlier topics mentioned are KPT experiment design. Just to highlight to you for experiment design, it has not appeared for the past 11 years at all for paper two. I repeat, at all, none. Okay, but it doesn't mean it will not appear this year. I'm just saying, based on the trend, it's less important. But you study, you study, but do bear in mind that it may not appear at all. Uh, because the questions are normally designed more for multiple choice. It, the setter normally wouldn't like to test this topic in paper two. They will rather set other topics which carry more marks, which require students to explain more. Because to be very honest with you, for experiment design, there isn't much explanation questions. And they try to include more critical thinking questions and explanation questions. So experiment design is not a popular question by the setter. KBT, yes, but very low percentage. Um, you will notice that separation technique is here again. So um, concepts in fractional distillation, chromatography, which some students love a lot. Sorry, it is not heavily tested. It may, it may carry some up. For example, chromatography is a very popular topic, but though it's popular in the topic itself, separation technique, it does not come out very frequently. Even if it does, right, the marks that are carried is very little. If you don't believe me, you can look at the past year 10 year series count how many times separation technique came out and out of it, how many times chromatography came out. Yeah. Sorts um, is actually linked closely to acid base, but surprisingly, it does not come out a lot. So in pure chemistry paper, we don't see so much on, okay, how do you prepare the salt? They may ask this in practical, in an indirect manner, like what they did for 2019. But we don't really see much of sorts question in paper two. They may appear, but the questions are short and sweet. They won't ask too much on it. But here again, you should not ignore it. What if they suddenly have a change of direction? They decide to test or assess students in the preparation of sorts. We never know. Lastly, I will share about the practical paper. Uh, since 2018, school-wide practical assessment was implemented. The first year was a titration with um, measurement of temperature and experiment planning on percentage yield or purity, if I'm not wrong. So um, different questions were set 
in different years. Among the topics right, that will be tested for practical, the most popular choice seems to be titration. So every year without fail, you will see titration. Only in one particular year, 2019, thermometric titration was asked. Thermometric titration involved the measurement of temperature using different volume of alkali to neutralize the acid. And you are supposed to plot a graph and get two lines that intersect to get the end point of the reaction. So it is different from the usual titration that you are very familiar with. So they may do that this year, they may not. So you just be prepared for titration and thermometric titration. Refer to the 2019 paper for reference. Um, some schools set thermometric titration in their practical prelim. So you can refer to that as well for practice. QA, very popular. Uh, but it may not appear at all because in 2018, the first year of the implementation of the school at practical assessment, it was not tested. But the concept was tested in the next year. So uh, do bear in mind, QA may be tested. It can be a long question or a short question. In 2019, decomposition of solids and measuring mass change was tested. So students were required to use the electronic balance to measure the mass of the solid upon decomposition. And then they have to do some calculations to answer the questions. So it was a bit unusual because um, we don't expect students to move around to use the electronic balance that was shared by the bench or by the class. Okay, so uh, that was something a bit unexpected. So do expect the unexpected at times and just read the instruction very carefully and answer, answer accordingly. Speed of reaction where you use the uh, stopwatch to measure time seems not to be so popular over the years, but we never know. This year may come as one question. So do revise on iodine clock, the reaction that produced sulfur, which causes the cross to disappear or other speed of reaction related experiment. Okay, do bear that in mind and understand the procedure and remember the source of error, how to improve the experiment procedure by correcting the source of error, eliminate the source of error and understand how does the source of error affect the result. Um, and do refer to my experiment planning video on how to answer such questions. I, do, I did a video earlier on on it. Well, I classify experiment planning to two types, type A and type B, and also talk about sources of error. And of course, measurement of temperature of a metal reaction is super popular. It came out a few times. And do practice the different types of questions in experiment planning. Okay, uh, we never know what will come out. So uh, try to do as much as you can. Uh, so you're familiar, drill yourself, because one of them will come out. Okay, so um, that's about it. Lah. I hope you uh, uh, understand what I have gone through and I hope it will benefit you. Lah. So that's about it. Thank you.